It is exciting to be with the Nevada Hispanic Business Group this morning. We are here in company of the founders of this organization. We have Joe, we have Laura, and Orlando. Joe, tell us what is your title and role in this organization? Well, currently I serve as the president of the Nevada Hispanic Business Group. Okay, and what is the purpose of this organization? Our purpose is to create a formidable organization that best represents Hispanic businesses and the communities in Nevada. Okay, and have you defined what the main goals and the objectives of this organization will be? What is it striving to achieve? We want to work with businesses uh, to help them grow both the Hispanic and non-Hispanic businesses in Nevada, to be able to help them in areas of business development, marketing strategies, and advocacy to better prepare them to create successful businesses here in Las Vegas and Nevada. What is the fee to become a member? Well, we have three levels of membership. The primary membership or the basic membership is $199 a year. And then our next level is a $500 membership. And then our final level is a $1,000 membership. Okay. What are some of the benefits of the membership? Well, for the $1,000 membership, which is our top membership, not only do you have the opportunity to speak at our lunches for 30 minutes, but you also are a sponsor of a table at our lunches every other month and then you pro we provide you with two lunches with, which are included. You get to be one of the hosts on the web page, along with other, several other discounts that are available to you to some of our member events and some of our training classes. And for the other two levels? Well, the other levels are, are very similar. Uh, the $500 level does not give you the, five, the 30 minutes of speaking at the luncheon, and it also um, is a little bit more limited on some of the access on the website. Okay. Joe, as a nonprofit organization, how will you serve the community at large? Our objective is to get involved in volunteering and helping in whatever areas we can with the community. Currently, we've adopted an elementary school, Arturo Cambero Elementary, and we're working with the staff and the principal there to be able to help the students that are less fortunate, that maybe are homeless or that are in need of shoes or school supplies. So our group has agreed to volunteer and assist wherever we can as a business community. In addition to that, we also are very interested in helping our veterans and providing them with opportunities for jobs, as well as working in the community in other areas of resources that are needed by volunteering our time and our efforts. Laura, what is your title and role for the Nevada Hispanic Business Group? Presently, I'm acting as the Executive Director and the Secretary for the group. Why did you team up with Joe in Orlando? They're awesome men. <laughs> um, they're great leaders of our community. They work very closely with different businesses throughout our city. And I've had the opportunity to work with the two of them with a different community group. And I learned so much from the, both of them. I look at them as role models for me. And I thought, who else to team up with for this group? This group, what does it mean to you? Oh, it has a deep meaning in my heart because um, this group, allows me to use it as a platform to show others what Jesus can do in your heart and in your life. I've been saved for now for a little bit over five years and this group has given me the opportunity to show others what the Lord can do in someone like me. And as the organization grows, will you be asking key people to join the leadership team? Yes, of course. We're presently looking. Very good. And are you in need of leadership team members currently? Yes, we are. Um, we're looking for large corporations that are wanting to help us financially so we can grow. We're also looking for other community leaders that are wanting to make a difference in our community, making a change. So they need to be volunteers. Orlando, who in the community do you feel is a priority for you? You know, as Joe mentioned earlier, um, the elementary school that we adopted, Arturo Cambero is one of them. They, uh, when you find out how much these kids are suffering where they can't afford a pair of shoes uh, or they're cutting the top of their shoes off because their feet just don't fit, they're homeless. Uh, there's a young kid who uh, apparently was tardy for school 54 times but God bless that kid because he still went to school every day, he didn't miss a day. And, you know, we have the opportunity to jump into the community, a school who was last in the state of Nevada in performance, and really help them make a difference in those kids' lives. And it turns out that it's not only the kids' lives, it's also ours and their parents as well. What other organizations are you involved with? 
Refuge for Women is, is another uh, organization, nonprofit, that we also are partnering up with where they help get women off the streets. And um, they too have been uh, a great partner at work. And in regards to the business community, what message would you like to share to the business community? Come join the Nevada Hispanic Business Group. Uh, we know really just that what we do is, first and foremost, we do keep God at the forefront of our decisions. That will never change. Um, and we are working very hard to listen to the community and not listen with deaf ears, but listen and do everything we possibly can to make a difference. And in this organization, how easy is it to find that connection through this group? Very easy. Um, Laura, Joe, and myself, first of all, are out in the community all the time. Uh, and some of our board members have uh, really worked hard to get out and network and communicate to people the opportunity, what we're doing, how uh, wonderful the results are so far. We're only uh, into our sixth month uh, of being a formal organization, and it's going fabulous, to be honest. It's great to hear that. Orlando, how easy is it to network through this group? Very easy. We have. Uh, other than our luncheons, we have a networking group that um, actually Laura had founded in another group that we have instilled uh, to be a staple of our Nevada Hispanic Business Group. And we network the second Thursday of every month at different locations, maybe our members uh, or our businesses here at the William Card Gallery. and. Um, we average anywhere from 15 to 35 people in the networking event. And the community really gets to know who we are and what we're doing. So it's very easy. Orlando, Laura, and Joe, what distinguishes the Nevada Hispanic Business Group from other groups? One of the things that the three of us believe in uh, that we started from the very beginning is that we are a nonpartisan uh, group. It's not about being Republican, it's not about being Democrat, it's about doing what is best for our community and truly what is best for the community. Um, our goals are very big and um, we have some great uh, sponsors. See us now staffing, Branch Hernandez and Associates, uh, William Carr Gallery, Microsoft, Nevada State Bank, Blue Box, just to name a few. And we're very proud of that. And, and love the partnership that we have with them. So our group, what we do is we listen to our community. Um, we try to address the different issues that are going on in our community. One of the issues that we're trying to you know, address is the DACA program. There are over 4,000 students right now that meet the requirement for the DACA program for them to be legalized here um, to get their two-year permit. Um, they meet all the the education requirements but have not filed. So we're trying to address that. Another thing are that our group is trying to address is sexual um, exploitation of women. That's why we teamed up with Refuge for Women. Um, another thing is veterans. When our veterans come back home, a lot of them aren't able to find work. So we want to address that. And not just the veterans, but also their families. Um, another thing that we've been working on as well is the elementary school. We want to make a difference in our community. So we do invite any other you know, person out there, any other business that wants to get involved with our community to join our group. And make a difference. Of course. The Nevada Hispanic Business Group describes who we are, but what we do defines who we are. And we feel committed to this community. We feel that we can make a difference not only helping the businesses grow their businesses, but also helping the community at large. As Laura mentioned, we're really excited about helping those students that want to progress and hopefully get into the job market or become business entrepreneurs or leaders in this community. We really feel that with what we're doing, we're going to be able to provide some of those resources for them. I also want to thank Blue Box Productions for allowing us this time to be able to talk about what we do 
and we really hope that in the future we will be able to be the formidable group in the state of Nevada. Amen. Thank you for being partners. <laughs> Thank you for joining us.